Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Helicopters alongside airplanes are among the most recognized and widely used types of aircraft in the world. Their ability to take off and land vertically, along with their exceptional maneuverability at low speeds, makes them indispensable across a variety of roles and industries. Among all the models ever built, a few stand out for their engineering, versatility, and historical significance. And at the top of that list is the legendary Mil Mi 26 helicopter. The Mi 26 was created to meet the demand for a massive heavy lift helicopter capable of supporting both civilian and military operations. Its mission, operate effectively in remote, rugged, or undeveloped regions. Around 70 units were ultimately produced. The Mi-26 quickly proved its worth across a wide range of missions, including military transport, humanitarian aid, medical evacuations, firefighting, and construction. To this day, it remains a key asset in disaster relief missions, especially where other aircraft cannot reach. Given its size and operational importance, the Mi-26 is subject to strict maintenance protocols. Regular inspections target critical external components, such as the airframe, landing gear, and access panels. Scheduled maintenance cycles occur at 100, 500, and 1,000 flight hour intervals, with detailed inspections of systems like the rotor blades, transmissions, and hydraulics. What truly sets the Mi-26 apart is its unrivaled lift capacity and massive internal cargo space. Its cargo hold measures about 39 feet long, 10.5 feet wide, and 9.8 feet high, offering over 3,800 cubic feet of usable volume. This allows it to carry up to 44,000 pounds of cargo, including large vehicles, oversized equipment, or up to 90 fully armed troops. Before every mission, crews conduct a meticulous pre-flight engine check, inspecting turbines, oil systems, and control units to ensure flawless operation. These engines are the backbone of the Mi-26's unmatched lifting capability, allowing it to haul tanks, aircraft, or humanitarian supplies with ease. Before takeoff, the aircraft's massive fuel tanks holding roughly 3,200 gallons are topped off, guaranteeing the endurance needed for its demanding heavy lift missions. The helicopter is operated by a crew of five, typically consisting of pilots, flight engineers, and a navigator, all stationed in the advanced cockpit. Upgraded models like the Mi-26 T2 feature digital avionics, autopilot systems, and modern communication tools for seamless coordination with ground crews and other aircraft. Starting the helicopter involves activating the onboard auxiliary power unit, 
APU, which energizes the systems needed for navigation, hydraulics, and avionics. The aircraft's two ZMKB Progress turboshaft engines are then started sequentially, closely monitored by the crew. Once operational parameters are confirmed, throttle is adjusted for takeoff readiness. Thanks to its rugged capabilities, the Mi-26 has served numerous countries. One example is Belarus. which uses it as a key asset in emergency response and rescue operations. Flying this giant is no ordinary task. It takes a seasoned crew to handle the sheer size and power behind the controls. With its advanced avionics and responsive flight systems, the aircraft remains surprisingly agile for its massive frame. Pilots rely on precision and teamwork, coordinating every maneuver to safely carry loads that no other helicopter in the world can lift. In the cockpit, every takeoff feels less like a routine flight and more like commanding a moving skyscraper through the sky. Helicopters play a critical role in supporting the President of the United States by providing fast, secure, and flexible transportation. Marine One is the call sign of any United States Marine Corps aircraft carrying the President of the United States. Marine One transports the President of the United States from the White House to other locations in Washington, D.C. If needed, Marine One can even fly the President abroad at a moment's notice. As a security measure, Marine One always flies in a group with identical helicopters, mainly five in number. Out of these five helicopters, one carries the president, while the others serve as decoys. After takeoff, these helicopters begin to shift their formation to obscure the president's location. It is easier and safer for the President to travel on a Marine One helicopter piloted by members of Marine Helicopter Squadron One, HMX-1. Being an HMX-1 pilot is not an easy job. It requires being proactive and ready to fly several miles from state to state at a moment's notice. The ability to rapidly evacuate the President of the United States after landing, while avoiding the numerous vulnerabilities associated with ground transportation, makes Marine Helicopter Squadron 1, or HMX-1, one of the most critical security assets in presidential protection. In addition to flying the President, HMX-1 plays a vital role in training the next generation of Marine Corps pilots, crew chiefs, and support personnel. These individuals undergo intensive instruction and simulation-based training to prepare them for the demanding responsibilities of supporting White House-level operations. The mission is much different than the fleet's mission. Here, we're not really in a hostile environment, but it's a no-fail mission. So 
the level of importance is still there. We don't ever want to leave the president stranded somewhere. We need to make sure that the people who go with him and all his contingency are able to get where they need to go every time. The ability of these helicopters to land on the deck of an aircraft carrier showcases not only the skill of the pilots, but also the adaptability of these aircraft for any mission. The United States did what seemed impossible, and some people still can't get their heads around the decision that the U.S. authorities made a decade ago. handing over an extremely versatile and technologically advanced aircraft to another country. Yes, you heard that right. The U.S. delivered 17 V-22 Ospreys to Japan in exchange for $3 billion. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is an American aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing and short takeoff and landing capabilities. V-22 is designed to function as a helicopter with long range, as well as to provide high-speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. Ospreys were the key to the U.S. Marine Corps' position in the Pacific, mainly due to the ability to fly further and faster than other helicopters and still land on various ships. Therefore, selling such a valuable asset to Japan was a bold decision. However, the deal between the United States and Japan was not just financial, it was also a strong start to an extraordinary U.S.-Japan military relationship. It was the first time Japan had acquired offensive military capabilities since the end of World War II, mainly due to unrest with China over territorial disputes in the East China Sea. Since this deal, the United States and Japan have collaborated and assisted each other on multiple occasions. In April 2016, several locations in Japan were struck by intense earthquakes, which resulted in infrastructure damage, injuries, and several deaths. Japanese Self-Defense Forces JSDF, worked day and night to save lives and restore infrastructure. Moreover, V-22 Ospreys were loaded with supplies and flew from the Marine Corps Air Station, Iwakuni, to provide humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. When it comes to taking off, the V-22 Osprey is nothing short of a flying marvel. It typically operates as a helicopter with the nacelles vertical and rotors horizontal. However, once it is airborne, the nacelles rotate 90 degrees forward in less than 12 seconds for horizontal flight, converting the V-22 into a high-speed turboprop aircraft. Despite its complexity, the V-22 Osprey is very efficient as it can carry up to 20,000 pounds of internal cargo, along with 15,000 pounds of external cargo. This quality allows the V-22 to perform replenishment missions like dropping cargo directly above the submarine, 
which is later collected by the Marines inside the submarine. This way, the V-22 Osprey increases the survivability, range, and lethality of forward-deployed naval vessels. Ultimately, helicopters and tiltrotor aircraft form a vital backbone of global operations, enabling nations to reach farther, respond faster, and operate where no other aircraft can. Their stories are not just of machines, but of missions accomplished, lives saved, and geopolitical strategies supported from the sky. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.